Welcome to ITU Telecom 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dr. Sharafat, who is a senior advisor for the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology for the uh, Islamic Republic of Iran. Dr. Sharafat, great to see you in the studio. Thanks very much for being with us. Pleasure is mine. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you about smart digital transformation. It's the theme here at uh, ITU Telecom World 2017. What does it mean to you and what does it, what does it mean to Iran? Well, for Iran, it means that we have to utilize the power of ICTs uh, to solve a number of pressing issues. We are facing, not only us, but many countries are facing many problems that are common to all of us, uh, such as uh, prolonged droughts uh, in many regions of the world, the need to improve uh, the uh, <coughs> uh, health, sec health uh, sector, and uh, to provide uh, the citizens with uh, better services, uh, among other things. The education as well, uh, the application of ICTs in education, the application of ICTs in better governance uh, to uh, the populations. And so there are many areas that we can benefit from the power of ICTs in basically improving the efficiencies. And uh, in my country, we are embarking on a number of mega projects. Uh, specifically, uh, the government, the new government, is uh, keen on utilizing the power of ICTs in e-agriculture, also in e-health, uh, the same for e-government. So we have a number of big projects that uh, we are uh, planning to uh, uh, expedite their implementation so that uh, the population could benefit from uh, the results. Uh, we have already started some uh, initial public uh, trials. As my minister uh, mentioned in his uh, presentation this afternoon, uh, as an example, we have uh, been using uh, the power of ICTs in, form, in the form of uh, IoT and uh, artificial intelligence uh, for e-agriculture. Uh, as an example, uh, we have uh, used uh, the, I <coughs> the IoT and uh, AI uh, to um, reduce the power consumption for agriculture by as much as 50%. Uh, and that is uh, notable because uh, more than 90% of water consumption in my country is uh, for agriculture and a significant reduction in uh, <coughs> the uh, uh, use of water resources is uh, very much indeed because, as I said, we are suffering from prolonged droughts. And uh, the interesting thing is that uh, not only we have been um, benefiting from the improved efficiencies in the consumption of water, uh, but uh, at the same time we have been uh, reducing the consumption of electricity used for uh, pumping water and uh, so not only we have been reducing the water consumption but electricity consumption and uh, as a result there is the, the there is a uh, reduced consumption for fuel which would protect the environment so we are uh, focusing on areas which would ensure sustainable development Another area of focus, I'm sure, is uh, small and uh, medium-sized enterprises. I wanted to find out from you the perspective, driving innovation in the digital economy in Iran. What's, uh, what's the situation? I there? think uh, this is a unique opportunity for uh, SMEs. Uh, the case study and the example that I mentioned was uh, uh, undertaken by uh, uh, the academia in conjunction with uh, SMEs. So there is a big role for uh, SMEs to play in the development of uh, these technologies and these infrastructures, new infrastructures, for the benefit of the people in large. So uh, we are focusing on uh, uh, the, the uh, involvement, the active, and uh, uh, to some degree, I would say, uh, 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 aggressive engagement of uh, SMEs in such activities and. Uh, 
the government's policy is to facilitate. Um, by all means, we are encouraging SMEs, we are providing with them with uh, uh, whatever uh, legal resources they need to uh, become more active. And the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology is also providing financial support, seed money uh, for such uh, companies to uh, become more active. Talking about looking at budgets, obviously it's an expense to come to uh, an event like this. Uh, I wanted to find out what's the value of attending events like this for you? Well, uh, these events are very much uh, appreciated by uh, the ministry and also by the private sector in Iran. I think the value comes primarily from the opportunity to network and to get to know your peers and your potential customers and uh, the other entities that you can collaborate with. So we uh, have been present, I would say, in all telecom events in the past. Uh, in the previous uh, telecom, we uh, again started to have exhibition and in this uh, event as well. And we would continue to do so in future. We, we have had discussions with our minister and the minister is uh, uh, very much supportive of uh, a um, meaningful and active participation of uh, uh, the nationals uh, and uh, people engaged in ICT activities in telecom events. And finally, have you got a key message here for participants in ITU Telecom World? I, th I would say the message is uh, that we should use such events to, as I said, uh, network and to familiarize with, with uh, ourselves with other opportunities uh, to get to know uh, and benefit from the experiences of, of others and to engage uh, in a manner which would be of mutual benefit. Dr. Sharafat, well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today, joining us here at ITU Telecom World, and we wish you the very best of luck for the rest of the stay here and for the future. My pleasure. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you.